More on PowerPoint. PowerPoint 2016 provides various tools and features to enhance the appearance of a presentation. You can also use special effects, videos, tables, charts, etc. to make your presentation attractive. Inserting Tables a table is a grid made up of rows and columns. The intersections of rows and columns form rectangular boxes called cells. Columns are vertical series of cells, whereas rows are horizontal series of cells. A table is used to organize the information in a tabular format. It is very useful in representing data in an effective way. Follow these steps to insert a table in a presentation. 1. Select the slide in which the table is to be inserted. 2. Click on the Insert tab of the ribbon. 3. Click on the arrow of the Table button in the Table group. A drop-down menu appears. There are five ways that can be opted to create a table. A. Highlight the rows and columns of the table in the drop-down grid and accordingly a table will be inserted in the slide. B. 1. Click on the Insert Table option from the drop-down menu. 2. An insert table dialog box appears. Enter the number of rows and columns. 3. Click on the OK button to create a table on the slide. C. 1. Click on the Draw Table option from the drop-down menu. 2. The cursor changes to a pencil. Drag the pencil to create the area for your table. 3. The Design tab opens. Create your table by using the Draw Table option and selecting a style from the Table Styles group. D. 1. Click on the Excel Spreadsheet option from the drop-down menu. 2. A small Excel sheet box appears. Click and drag the sheet to get the desired size. 3. Click on each cell and type your data. E. 1. Click on the Home tab. 2. Click on the drop-down arrow of New Slide and select Title and Content Slide. 3. Click on the Table icon on the slide. 4. An Insert Table dialog box appears. Enter the number of rows and columns. 5. Click on the OK button. Modifying a table. A table can be easily modified for design and layout once it has been created. Click on the table to modify its structure. Two new tabs will appear on the ribbon. The design tab is used to format a table. The Layout tab provides the following options to modify a table. View Grid Lines Table Group It shows or hides the grid lines in the table. Insert Rows and Columns Rows and Columns Group It inserts rows and columns above, below, left and right of the current column. Delete Tables rows and or columns rows and columns group it deletes table rows and columns merge or split cells merge group it merges or splits the selected cells increase or decrease cell size cell size group it sets the height and width of the selected cell align text Text Directions, Cell Margins, Alignment Group. It aligns the text within the cells, changes text direction and specifies the margin for the selected cell. Fix the Height and Width, Table Size Group. It sets the width 
and height of the table. Arrange text. Arrange group. It arranges the text of the table. Adding table styles. Follow these steps to apply table styles to the table. 1. Select the table. 2. Click on the design tab. 3. Point the cursor over a table style and see a live preview of the style on the slide. 4. Click on drop down arrow to view all the options. 5. Click on the desired style to select it. Applying effects. Follow these steps to apply effects on the table. 1. Select the table to be modified. 2. Click on the design tab. 3. Click on the effects option in the table styles group and select the desired effect to be applied. Applying border. Follow these steps to apply border on the table. 1. Select the rows or columns to be modified. 2. Click on the drop-down arrow of the borders tool in the table styles group. 3. Select all borders option. Borders will be applied on the selected rows and columns. Applying border color. Follow these steps to change the border color of the table. 1. Click on the table. The design tab appears. 2. Click on the pen color tool in the draw borders group. 3. A color palette appears. Select the desired color. Click the left mouse button on the line where you want to change the color or drag the mouse over it. Release the button to change the line color. Inserting charts. Charts are an effective way to display data in a pictorial form. They simplify the process of comparison. PowerPoint offers different types of charts such as column, line, pie, bar and area. Follow these steps to insert and view a chart on the slide. 1. Click on the Insert tab. 2. Select the Chart button in the Illustrations group. 3. An Insert Chart dialog box opens on the screen which will display various charts available in the template of MS PowerPoint. Select the type of chart you want for the MS Excel document containing the data. 4. Click on the OK button to insert it. 5. An Excel document showing sample data will be displayed. Click on the Close button. 6. Once a chart is inserted in the slide, a new Chart Tools button appears on the Design tab. It displays layout and styles of charts to choose from. Editing Chart Data Follow these steps to edit chart data in the presentation. 1. Select the chart. The design tab for the chart appears. 2. Click on the Edit Data button in the Data group. 3. The spreadsheet containing the data opens on the screen. Edit data in the spreadsheet. 4. The chart in the slide displays the changes made in the data of the spreadsheet. Modifying the chart layout You can modify the chart layout and enhance the appearance of chart information. Follow these steps to modify the chart layout. 1. Select the chart and click on the Design tab. 2. Select any quick layout in the chart layout group. Changing background, colors and patterns. Follow these steps to change the colors, pattern and background of a chart. 1. Right click on the chart area and select the format chart area option from the list. A format chart area dialog box appears. 2. 
Click on the fill and line icon. Select the fill border, color and other desired options. 3. Click on the effects icon. Select the desired effect. 4. Click on the size and properties icon. Select the size, position and alternate text of your choice. Inserting video files. PowerPoint allows us to insert sounds and music to a slide. A sound can also be recorded and added to a presentation. All these features make a presentation look more informative and presentable. Adding video. Follow these steps to add video to a presentation. 1. Click on the Insert tab. 2. Click on the Video button in the Media group of the Insert tab. A drop-down menu appears. Select the Video on My PC option. An Insert Video dialog box appears on the screen. 3. Select the desired video file and then click on the Insert button. 4. The Format and Playback tabs appear. You can format the inserted video by clicking on the Format tab. 5. Click on the Play button. Animation. The ability to move objects, text and charts on the slide is called animation. Using animation, multiple pages can be displayed rapidly in a sequence such that the images appear to be in motion. Let's learn about different categories of animation effect. 1. Entrance. This effect decides the manner in which an object enters a slide during the slideshow. It makes the object focus, fade, etc. 2. Emphasis. This effect makes an object shrink or grow in size, change color, etc. 3. Exit. This effect controls the manner in which an object exits from the slide during the slideshow. 4. Motion path. This effect makes an object move up or down, left or right, etc. Follow these steps to apply an animation effect. 1. Select the object to be animated. 2. Click on the Animations tab on the ribbon. 3. Select Add Animation from Advanced Animations group. 4. Click on the desired animation effect from various groups. 5. Specify timings in Duration and Delay buttons in Timing group to change and control the speed of the applied animation effect. Slide Transition The way one slide follows the other on the screen is called transition. Follow these steps to apply transition effect to a presentation. 1. Select the slides to which transition effect is to be applied. 2. Click on the Transition tab. 3. Select the desired option from the Transition to this slide group. 4. You can also add sound to your slide by clicking on the drop-down arrow of the Sound button in the Timing group. Select the sound of your choice. 5. You can specify the duration of the transition in the duration box of the timing group. 6. To apply the transition to all slides, click on the Apply to All button present in the timing group. 7. To select how to advance a slide, select on mouse click or after option from Advance Slide. You can advance a slide automatically after a few seconds. 8. To preview the transition of the current slide, click on the Preview button in the Preview group of the Transitions tab. 